The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter. Once upon a time, there lived a bamboo cutter, with his wife in an old hut. Every morning, he would go to the forest to cut bamboos and bring them home. He and his wife would then make different things from the bamboo and sell them in the market. They were a poor couple with no child of their own, but they were happy together. One day, while cutting bamboos in the forest, he saw a strange bamboo right in the center. The bamboo shone like a bright full moon. The bamboo cutter was very curious. He carefully gave a light cut to the bamboo in order to open it, and when he did, he could not believe his eyes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. <gasps> it's it's a girl. There was a tiny girl inside. She was as big as the bamboo cutter's thumb. She was the most beautiful child he had ever seen. He instantly decided to take her home to his wife. Carefully taking the girl out in his palms, he cautiously walked back home. He had to be careful not to crush her. Hurry, my love! Come out and see what I found. He narrated the incident and slowly opened his hands. Instantly, their entire house lit up. The couple was surprised. She shines like the moon. We should name her Moonlight. Moonlight, she is beautiful. The wife took a cloth and placed Moonlight on it. As she admired her, a soft breeze came through the window. The tiny girl almost flew out of the wife's hands. She tried to hold Moonlight as firmly as she could. Finally, as the wind stopped, the cloth came off, and the tiny girl transformed into a normal-sized baby. The couple looked at each other, surprised. Uh, <laughs> ooh, <laughs> our little Moonlight is going to be a handful, isn't she? The next morning. The bamboo cutter went to the forest again to cut bamboos. Uh, uh, uh. Huh? Mm. <laughs> the bamboo cutter and his wife knew at once it was their little moonlight who had brought good fortune with her. From then on, each day the bamboo cutter returned home with a gold nugget. Soon they became rich. They gave their moonlight good food and dresses made of expensive silk. Months passed, and their tiny daughter was growing up faster than ever. In a short period of time, Moonlight grew to be a beautiful young woman. Her hair was silkier than the expensive dresses she wore. Her eyes sparkled like stars. Her skin was as soft as a feather, and her smile was brighter than the moon itself. She was probably the most beautiful woman on earth. But the bamboo cutter had something else to worry about. The villagers had begun to ask him about the beautiful girl in their house. One night, as Moonlight fell asleep, the bamboo cutter talked to his wife. I am worried. I told everyone that we found her in the forest alone, and that we brought her home to take care of her. But she has come of age now. They have been whispering about her beauty. I know. We cannot keep her in this house forever. The next day, the bamboo cutter talked to his daughter about her marriage. He told her that there were many suitors who had asked for her hand. No, father, I can't live without you. Why are you sending me away? Oh, my lovely child, I can't live without you either. But I can't keep you in this house forever. I love you, but love does not teach us to be selfish. 
I have to let you go and live your life. I will never force you to marry someone against your wish. But at least meet those suitors, will you? Moonlight loved her father dearly and could not say no to him. The next day, five young suitors came to see Moonlight. They could not take their eyes off her. Moonlight looked at them with no smile on her face and spoke with no excitement in her voice. I will ask all of you to get me different things from different places. I will only marry the one who can bring me what I ask for. I will get you the dark, dull moon if you ask for it, my love. Just say it. I will say two words to you. Get out. The beautiful young lady doesn't need your dull moon. I will bring her all the sparkly stars if she wishes so. Don't listen to both of them, princess. I will bring you the shiniest pearl from the ocean. <sighs> I want no moon, no stars, and no pearl from the ocean. But I want exactly what I ask for from each of you. She then asked the first suitor to bring her a bowl made of stone from a monk in India. But the bowl has to shine brighter than I do. From the second suitor, she asked for a branch of the only tree which grew at the peak of the tallest mountain on the eastern sea. Its roots were made of silver and its trunk made of gold. Its branches bore fruits of jewels. And I want the original branch of the tree. Don't disrespect me by bringing a fake one. The third suitor was asked to go to China and bring the robe of the fire rat. The fourth was asked to bring the jewel that had seven colors. It lay on the head of a dragon. And finally... Find the swallow who carries a shell in her stomach and bring me that shell. Thank you all for coming. What am I going to do? Oh, no, no, Moonlight knew that the tasks were impossible, but this was the only way for her to stay with her parents forever. Weeks passed, but the suitors never returned. The bamboo cutter told his wife of how the second suitor was caught in a thunderstorm in the eastern sea and had to return without the branch. The third suitor tried to find the fire rat, but found Geese instead, who bit him. The fourth tried to find the dragon, but when he was asked to enter the dark forest, afraid, he gave up. And the fifth tried to catch the swallow, but was bit by her in return. The only suitor who returned was the one who was asked to bring a bowl made of stone from a monk in India. He brought the shiniest bowl, but it could not shine brighter than Moonlight herself. <sighs> Is there no one on this land who is capable to marry our daughter? <gasps> the Emperor at our house! Oh, we are blessed! It is I who must bow down to you, for I have come to ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. I have heard of the things she demanded from those who wish to marry her. With your permission, I would like to talk to her and find out what task she may have for me. Uh, 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 of course, please have a seat. I will call her out. The emperor waited nervously to see Moonlight. As she walked out, he was struck with her beauty. He was determined to marry her. But Moonlight had something to say. Oh, noble one, I know you can give me anything that I wish for. The jewel of the dragon, 
the robe of the fire act, the branch of the golden trunk are challenges which you can easily overcome. So, I ask you for only one thing. Respect my wish. Do not want to marry and make no demands to know why. You are right. I can give you anything that you wish for. And if this is what you ask, then your wish is my command. But can I ask for something in return? You are a strong woman. May I have the honor to be your friend? The Emperor and Moonlight stayed friends and talked often. The bamboo cutter didn't let any more suitors in. He did not want to upset his Moonlight again. One night, as he entered her room, he saw that Moonlight was sitting by the window. She was staring at the moon and there were tears in her eyes. Moonlight! Why are you crying? There is one dream that I have every night, Father. I never told you because I did not want you to worry. What is it? I dream that I am being taken away to the moon by the moon people. And last night, a voice told me that the day has come. On the 15th day of this month, they will come to get me. <laughs> I don't want to leave you. The bamboo cutter looked at the moon. In all these months, for the first time, he realized that the moon looked dull, as if someone has stolen its light. He was worried for his daughter. He immediately sent a message to the emperor and asked for his help. The Emperor swore to not let anybody take his moonlight away. On the 15th day of this month, I want 2,000 royal guards outside Moonlight's house. Nobody is to touch her. The 15th day arrived. Moonlight's house was surrounded by 2,000 royal guards ready with their arrows. The Emperor himself drew his sword and stood in front of the house. The bamboo cutter took Moonlight to the basement. Her mother held her tight. Everybody was ready to protect her. Then suddenly, a bright light shone from the sky. Ah, what is that? I can't see anything. A beautiful cart flew down with many little fairies flying around. They played a beautiful tune on their flutes. Suddenly, Moonlight closed her eyes and was flown towards the music. She flew out of her basement with her parents running behind her. The fairies touched Moonlight with a silver shiny feather, and Moonlight's dress was transformed into a long flowy white gown. She opened her eyes and smiled brightly. Her fear was gone. She walked to her parents and hugged them. Father, you took such good care of me, but I must return to my people to do my duty. What? I don't understand. The moon is dull because I am here on Earth. I am the moonlight. The moon is incomplete without me. I am the light that guides humankind in their dark nights. I wandered off during the day and forgot who I was when I set foot on Earth. Confused and tired, I sat in the bamboo and you found me. So, you have to go now? Won't you miss us? Mother, I will come to see you every night. The only time you won't see me is when there will be no moon in the sky. You have been a great friend, but I will have to leave now. Moonlight sat in her cart and happily waved goodbye to her people on Earth. She was not sad for she knew she will always watch over them from the sky. The cart took her up to the moon. The bamboo cutter wiped his tears and waited for his moonlight to return. And she did, as the light to the full moon. 
the moon shone with its full might. The emperor never married anyone else. Every night he would stare at the moon for hours and smile at the love of his life. The bamboo cutter transformed his big house into the old small hut, for that was the only way to let his moonlight enter their house through the roof in the night. The bamboo cutter and his wife spent the rest of their lives in peace. The end.